This is the Just Live Podcast with Dan and Susie Potter, episode 55. <laughs> this is Intentional Connections 14 Memos. This is a problem-solving tool for things that might get you stuck. We begin in 22 seconds. Live life. See the good days in it. Just live life. Your life, as a couple, is a remarkable story and adventure that only you can create. We exist to help you grow your unique connection. Welcome to Just Live Podcast. This is episode 55. We're so glad you joined us. This one is all about memos. Now, this is an intentional connection that you need to have to talk, and I have to tell you, this one isn't as pleasant as some of the other ones. It might be challenging. We have not pre-done this. So we're going to do it live with you. And I'm honestly just like, oh, I don't know about this. So here's the intentional connection according to the free download that hopefully you have. It says meet together with two color memo or post-it notes. Two. Talk about the mental memos you have put up in your relationship that caused you to get stuck or lead you into tension. We're going to use the blue for that. Write Stuck those intention. things on a memo of one color. Now think of rhythms or practices that will move you back into living fully alive as a couple. Wrote th- write those on the other couple. Which memos are you going to post over your lives? Make a plan of how that's going to happen. So we're going to try to find some solutions to some of the problems we face. Now, no couple, no group of friends, no roommates are going to be identical. There's always going to be tension in places in which you get stuck. But sometimes we don't stop and deal with it. So right now what we're going to do right with you is we're going to show you how we need to do that, but also open a door that you're going to go maybe to your living room, grab two memo boards or memo uh, post-it stacks, and begin. Now, the thing about memos, if I could just highlight, we use memos a lot of times, these post-it notes. Uh, we we usually write notes to each other or to ourselves and post it on the mirror because it's got a sticky, it lasts for a significant amount of time. After a while, if it's not there, if it's if it doesn't have stick, it falls off. And sometimes if that memo right, yeah. needs to be up there again, we do a whole new one again. Or get a piece of tape. And I think I think that's the thing about memos. We're, we're going to use this blue one to represent our struggles. And the thing about the other one, it can be posted on top of it as a solution to cover it and hopefully... The plan ahead. Hopefully like to get through that challenge. So we have some tensions that... Uh, we have been stuck in for a long time. I I am a very forward moving person and Susie is definitely a people person. Sometimes I don't see the people. They're like standing in my way as I'm moving forward (laughs) and Susie sees everybody. So we're going to look and see. I don't know which one you want to have. Okay, time. Oh, you're like, like, what's our what's our challenges? What's our struggle? It's always time because I am more fluid time oriented. When I think uh, when I think of getting ready for something, I think of the projects or I think of the people where Dan is like a Swiss clock. And this is probably most of our challenges I mean, I got to tell you what Get happened. Triggered from yesterday, time. this happened. I found it funny. She didn't find it very funny, but I, I help her. I say we have ten minutes before we have to go. We have five minutes. We have to go in a minute. We need to go now. And she looked at me and says, "Yes, we need to go now." And she turned around and went the other direction and made tea. And I just started cracking up on the inside. It was like, wait a sec, did I? Did no? What no? He and thinks I made tea, but I had already made the base of the tea and I was waiting to put the cold in on top of it because it was a I don't understand it was these a things. Chai, it was a chai coconut latte. It was very good. Yeah, it was really good. And I you have to do the the hot and it was sitting and I was waiting to put the cold in at the last minute so it could be as so, cool as possible. So let's talk about this so memo that we have it's hanging our challenge. in our relationship. We have a time memo. 
there are some things we can't ever get there on time. Now, and here's one of the differences for me to get to a place, like if it's starting at two o'clock, then then we need to be there at least five minutes before that. If we're leading somehow, we need to be there probably 15 minutes before that, where sometimes it's it's a different thought for Susie. And I'm not saying that I'm right and she's wrong. That's not where this is at. But this is a tension and this is a discussion we often have in our car. So we're going to make it into a memo right now. Time. So so one of the things we have not found the ultimate of solutions yet, but we have been working with two different strategies. So one of them is Dan Dan has decided that he is going to be like a um a timekeeper for me. We have 30 minutes, Zeus. That is that is at 1.30 if it's a two o'clock leading. But so- yeah, I can't just say we have 30 minutes. I have to say that will be at, you know, 2.12. And he says that now because we've had lots of discussion. She tells me like, she wants the time. I'm like, okay, you know, like 20 minutes. I'm so non-time oriented. So if he says 30 minutes, then I'm not going to have a clue when 30 minutes is up. But when he says 30 minutes, that that's like, oh, coming soon. And then he says 1.30 and I look at it at the clock and it's 1.25. Then I, then I know, wow, I don't have much time anymore. Move faster. I think sometimes my voice is like that where it talks about in 1 Corinthians 13, a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. Sometimes just, it does feel I'm like that. I'm just background noise, I think, in, in this. Sometimes. But there's got to be there's got to be a way forward. There's got to be a way to actually say what's a principle, what's a practice, what's a rhythm that will cause us to whatever the outcome, whether we're late, whether we're early, whatever what is going to bring some more joy into our relationship okay so one of one of the solutions one of the post it notes that can go on top is a time countdown that's that's um what dan has been doing and the thing that also is really important for me is there's so many things that have to be done i know the projects but i don't know how long the time the, how long they'll take to do it so often dan will ask me because usually it's not let's just be honest it's not him that's late very rarely maybe one (laughs) one time a year it's always me it's always me that but we go together so yeah so if we're late then you can just look right at me it was my it was my deal so the first one is a time countdown yeah but the other one is like sometimes you ask me what needs to be done before we go or he notices what I end up doing. So many times he's like, "Did you get your drink?" <laughs> the things. Can that I get I, that drink the for you? The things. The things that I go back into the house to get. Oh, I forgot my phone. Where's your oh, phone? Oh, I forgot my purse. Uh, I I always carry water at summertime now at the time of this recording, so it's hot. So I always want to have my bottle of water. So he he's noticed these are the things, which is really helpful for me. So he's like, do you have your phone? Do you have your purse? You, yes, yes, yes. Good thing. You know, I got that. There, there is another yellow memo we can put on, and I've done this sometimes, is simply say <coughs> projects that need to be done or things to bring, right? This is what we said. So I simply say, sometimes, whenever she's ready, we will go. And I sit on the couch and I read a book or I do something else, but that works against me. I have to tell you, that works against me because if I'm sitting there reading and not standing next to the door, she thinks it's not important to go. So it means we're, we're leaving 45 minutes late for something. And But I actually, there are a few places that we go to regularly that I do not say anything anymore about when we have to go. We just arrived really late and that's okay. I, I have said it's okay. So that for me is a is a new plan. Uh, sometimes I get a, a magic trick and I just start practicing it and I'm thinking, I'm gonna have at least a half hour of practice time in here. And so I make it something good for me while it's, it's not gonna put pressure on her. So these are a few different uh, All right. So far, we got a few memos. different different memos that go over our time issue. Maybe, um, maybe you can hear that this is definitely an issue. It's an issue for Dan, and then it's an issue for me. And I feel bad because I really want to honor him and his time orientation, but it's so hard 
in the moment, even though I do highly honor him, it does not appear that way in the action. So we have time countdown, things to bring, projects. It's okay to be late. And maybe we should put magic tricks get really well practiced. It could be. Any other thing? Any other? I mean, if I go shopping now with Susie, I always take a deck of cards with me because it's going to be a lot of time to practice. I don't get upset that we're in the store for an hour because I have a great practice time. So sometimes it's simply on my side that she needs to do whatever she's doing and I need to make the most of it. Yep. And I try to get myself more prepared earlier. So some of those projects or things that have to be done, things that have to be gathered could be gathered much earlier. So here's what we have. We have so we're one, starting to do it. We have one problem and then we have five different solutions so far. And I actually think this is great because these are different rhythms because there's sometimes places that we actually have to be on time. And so probably me sitting and doing the magic tricks is not going to work in that scenario. But there's other times where it's like we have to be there. But you know what? There's not a single person on earth there waiting for us. So I can practice some magic during that time. So I think as we look at this list that we have made of these different solutions, it's yes, yes, and Let's yes. Let's keep trying them all. So these memos are helpful. It's a talking point, whatever. Now, there are other problems that we could come up with. For example, expectations. Communication. We, we won't go in there. Communication, clarity, what what really your expectation is in mind when we say this. And if we don't we don't spell it out, we don't talk about and it. And dirty dishes, where do they go? Not just in the kitchen. <laughs> they go on the right side of the sink. Sometimes I forget that. And I these are things it's like, okay, so what is the pattern? Yeah. To figure that so out. So these would be memos that we would put on top of our struggles as solution options. Now, the the thing about this is, just as we illustrated here with time, these are options for now. They probably need to be tried. They need to check and we need to check and see if these are working and find potentially new solution. But we've got a good, what is that? Five, five sticky notes, memos that are on top of an issue that is not a new issue. This is something that we've been dealing with for a lot of years. And in some ways we're doing better. And the great thing about the, the post-it notes on top, the solutions is now you're not at the place where it's like, well, you're always late or you're always pushing me for time or you're always this, or you're never this. Now there is a new way of looking yeah. at it. There is a new solution. There is a new plan. There's breath. Because there is a way forward together that we're not driving to church or going someplace silently because of the last half hour. But there's joy because we decided, um, Dan helped me find everything so we could get there on time. <laughs> Bingo. That's it right there. So All right. It's a new way. So here's an idea for you, for your intentional connection with your spouse, with your person, or if you have a really good friend that you share a room, a room or you have some struggles together, this is an opportunity for clear communication, for clarity, for the possibility of spelling things out and going on that road towards more success. So get a couple of different colors of notepads. Write some things down, have a great talk about it, and laugh a lot because there is a way forward, but it probably is going to be something new. Uh, to be continued, hopefully on a future podcast, we can say we had that time orientation sussed out, but we're getting better. And feel free to go through the process of this and still be in a good space with your person. So may you live fully alive as you love your life, your world, and your God. My name is Dan. My name is Susie. Together, Together we, we are, are juicy. juicy. Live fully. And love fully. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Just Live Podcast, episode 55. Write the memos. <laughs>